News First starts now with breaking news. And that breaking news, Hurricane Helene, now a Category 3 storm with 120 mile per hour winds. We are in the first alert weather day for one of the biggest storms we have seen in recent history in our area. Good afternoon, I'm Joy Lim Nakrin. And you can see how gloomy it is. You can see the rain covering up the camera. This rain just the beginning of what is to come. Here's First Alert Meteorologist Patrick Pete. And you know, people really should take this seriously because this is a state of emergency that we're in. Yeah, we're watching this storm as expected. It has rapidly intensified uh, just within the last 30 minutes. Uh, this has been upgraded to a major hurricane. Now a category three storm. Helene has winds sustained at 120 miles per hour and has already started to move a little bit faster towards the north. Now racing to the north northeast at about 20 miles per hour. This is forecast uh, to move towards the Big Bend region of Florida over the next few hours, keeping that category three strength as it moves inland to the east of Panama City and it's going to be moving so fast that we're still expecting for there to be tropical storm force winds with this storm as it moves through metro Atlanta and portions of north Georgia. Cone of uncertainty uh, really uh, exercising that this it could take any side of the track. I'll be honest, a lot of the data that we've been seeing come into the first alert weather center this afternoon has been trending this storm on the easternmost edge of the track. So it's very important that we want our viewers to know that if you are in far east Georgia right now, it does look like this system is going to have some bigger impacts to you, especially if it continues continues on this eastward trajectory. Nonetheless, we're all going to get rain. We are all going to get wind as we head through the next 36 hours. Uh, right now we do have a hurricane warning in effect for proportions of uh, Upson County as well as Lamar County as those winds could gust roughly 74 miles per hour or greater as this system lifts through the rest of North Georgia under a tropical storm warning as we're expecting winds 39 miles per hour or greater to lift our area as we head through the overnight hours. And we've been seeing this tropical moisture lift through the area all day scattered showers across most of the region. It's been a little bit more turbulent to the south and to the east. We've pretty much just had stratiform rain across the regions, but you can see this big blob of yellow. This is going to be where we see that more steady rain moving into places like McDonough, Locust Grove, Griffin, stretching into Jonesboro, Conyers area closer to the city of Atlanta. It's been a mix light to steady rain, and it's going to continue to come in waves as we head through the next few hours. We're watching the easternmost portion of our viewing area because that's where the storm prediction center has that level one out of five risk for uh, rotating thunderstorms. So that's going to be areas east of Atlanta as those waves, those bands of uh, storms roll through the area. We could get an active warning right now. Those warnings are well to the south of our viewing area. So we're going to keep the first of late weather day going through the overnight hours, scattered showers and the occasional rumble of thunder going to be possible as we head through the evening hours, expecting the heaviest rain to build into the region as we head into the overnight hours. Strongest winds will arrive very early tomorrow morning. We're looking at that time slot between 2 a.m. and 10 a.m. And we're also going to be watching areas east of the center of circulation for a brief rotation. I have more on the timeline of when we expect that center to lift through North Georgia coming up in just a few minutes. Thank